Hi everyone, I hope you're good. Today's lesson is of course always a Lebanese Arabic lesson, a Levantine lesson, but today's lesson, I don't even know if I call it if I can call it a language lesson because it's just about sounds. But these but these sounds are look, my friend already signed it. But these sounds are very, very useful and fun to know if you want to learn um, Lebanese Arabic because yeah you might learn the language and you might learn words vocabulary but these are things that maybe people are not gonna teach you when you're learning a class so I thought I can do a video on them and I can teach you just the sounds that we make to express ourselves in Lebanon uh, before I begin, I want to let you know that I now have my 30-day Lebanese Arabic challenge courses recorded for self-study. I have the absolute beginners, the beginners, general one and general two, ready for you guys to do on your own. Uh, so maybe it's also a great Christmas idea, a gift, gift, gift Christmas gift idea. So yalla, without making this longer, I'm going to start. The first sound I'm going to make today is... You know, when I'm very like annoyed and I'm not happy, in Lebanon you just go like and you go, the, you do the t in the end, okay? And sometimes you just put your, you, you roll your eyes up like that. You're unimpressed, you're unhappy, you just go and sometimes you even say instead of just okay? The second one is when do I say ye? Guys, whoever knows them, just tell me. And also remind me if you know some more. Elias, if you know more, remind me. So the ye is like, we use it in many ways. So maybe something happened and I am surprised, not in a positive way. Like, oh no, sometimes we use it for that. Like ye, oh no, like that. And then uh, sometimes if I make it short and I just say ye, you know, like ye. Uh, it's not like you're saying, oh no, you're just saying like, are you, uh, like you're saying to the person, are you nuts? Are you crazy? Are you, what are you saying? Ye. Like, what are you doing? You're just saying ye. But if you say ye, <laughs> you make it longer. That's like, you're saying, oh no. Um, sometimes I can say, um, I can use it with alayke, alayke or alayk or alayye. For example, you can say to the person, ye alayk. <laughs> I don't, I'm going to try to explain these, but it's so hard to say them. I, I'll try my best. So when do I say, yeah, I like, like, you know, when somebody does, maybe a kid does something cute or funny. I say, yeah, I like, and then maybe I can do like that to his cheeks. Okay. So you're just saying kind of like, oh no, on you. It's, you know, it's just sounds, as I said. So, okay, let's repeat. So it's just ye. Like, you know, you're just saying like, what the hell? Or, you know, you're, you're, you're saying to the person like, what is this behavior? Or what is this, um, you know, what are you saying? But if you elongate it like, ye, ye, like, oh no, ye. Uh, and sometimes you can, it, the, if you say, yeah, it's different. <laughs> if I say to someone, if they're doing something stupid, I can just say, yeah, you know, just, yeah, you know. I am also surprised in that sense, okay? And when I'm annoyed, I'm going to just go, خلاص, or something like that. You know, I'm very angry. That's Now, when I'm disgusted, uh, I can say two things. I can say, <laughs> So when I say, you know, you can think of the sound as like a spitting sound, like as if you're spitting on the person or something. And sometimes you can say tfu, I like, or sometimes you just say tfu. <laughs> Instead of tfu, you can say tfu. So you can even just say tfu, or you can say tfu, I like. Yani, like a tfu, a spit on you, or tfu, I like. Like, it's a way to say shame on you, you know? Or if you're disgusted, you ate something and it's not good, like, I don't know, it's like rotten or something, you can say tfu, tfu. <laughs> yes, exactly, Antonio. Uh, so that's when you're disgusted or when you're disgusted from someone's behavior, you can say tfu alek or tfu alek. Now, sometimes I hear like, I, I hear my, I just, I don't know, I remembered my mom's friend. She uses it as a joke, you know, not to say you are disgusting, but like, you know, uh, you know, as a joke to say like you, maybe even you did something funny or maybe you did something that she wants to say as a joke. Oh, you're doing something like that. She can say tfu alek. You know, like for example, if I say to her, 
Okay, uh, I'm not gonna come as a joke because your food is not tasty. She will say to me, Tuareke, my food is not tasty, like that, as a joke, you know? So you can say this as a joke. Now, if you're also disgusted, we can also say, Nya, Nya. And sometimes instead of Nya, you can say, Nya, Nya. <laughs> okay, like Nya. It's like so disgusting, so not tasty, so ugly, so something that is like really disgusting. Nya. So, t is like when you're disgusted, and nya is also when you are disgusted. Uh, and, you know, I just wrote them in front of me, like, as if they are the most important words in the world. But they're very, very important, because they are part of the language. The, not maybe the words, but the way we communicate. The next one is, if you're gonna uh, scare a little child, like, uh, peekaboo. <laughs> How do we say it in Lebanese? We say, ba -a. Or just ba, okay? So you can open the door and like go like ba, okay? Or just ba. <laughs> so that's like our peekaboo. Uh, you can also say ba, <laughs> okay? So you can say ba or ba. That like the ba is not so childish, you know? Maybe you can just you know, as a joke, say it to to an adult. Now if I have pain, I go like ah. Okay, that's ach. Say these sounds with me because they might sound easy, but they are not, okay? So like, ach, I have pain on my back or something on my shoulder. I go like, ach, okay? But if I suddenly got hurt, like if I want to say, ouch, okay? I don't say ach, I say, ay, okay? Ay, I, like somebody, I, I burned my hand, for example. I say, ay, okay? But if my back hurts, I say like, ach. For example, my back hurts. Okay. Now, if uh, I see something like, wow, amazing, you know, we will go. <laughs> <laughs> or something is extraordinarily like, I don't know, maybe big or, you know, like I want to say it's sometimes even when we're annoyed, we say it like. <laughs> Something like that. But if you're impressed with something, you can also whistle and say, like that, like, wow, you know? And sometimes you go like, oh, like, oh, not off, you don't have pain, but it's it's different than ah. Off is like, you know, like sometimes when you are remembering the past, or I think the word is reminiscing, like, oh, Okay, you, even we have it in our traditional, um, we call it zajal. Zajal is like, you know, a poetry you say by singing. And we go like, off, off, off. And everyone else goes, off. And then we say the poetry or the lines, okay? So when you're saying off, you will hear it a lot in songs, okay? And you're remembering the past. Or sometimes you're just saying off, like, you know. I don't say it like that, but I hear people say it like, of like you know you know they're hurt or they're you know feeling something in maybe they're even feeling pain emotionally not physically you know off like that uh, now if i'm gonna pamper a child i can also like grab his cheeks and go like yay 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 like that like yay we can even say lick 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 yay okay you go yay like that and then, if you're happy, you just go like in English, yay, or something. Yay, okay? Yay, also you use it to say like, like, oh my God, or something is like a lot. Like, um, even Nancy Ajram has it in one of her songs, and uh, uh, she goes like, yay, Sahra Ayunu, okay? Like, he, the, the, the magic in his eyes, like, Oh, like the magic in his eyes, yay, like that, like yay, like a lot of it, you know. Now, if water is cold, or if I am cold, I can say, ah, barid, okay, ah, that's the sound, ah, or water is cold. Or even like I burned my hand from the water, I can also say, ah, eh, hey, Antonio, yes, that's the one, so that's, ah. I burned my hand, or ah, also, it's cold, something is cold, like it's the sensation of heat, okay? And ah, barid, okay, you say ah, barid. Now, if you want to express uh, relief, you say khay, 
Gij. Oké, okay, I'm really lief. Gij. And sometimes you want to say to someone, oh, I'm happy for you. I say, gij. Hij gabariye. That's, the, that's a news. Hij gabariye. Gij. So you're happy for someone. You're also relieved. Like, gij. I passed my exam, for example. Najahet. Okay. Gij um, also, you can use it uh, to say to someone, oh, that's good news. As I said, like, eh, gij. Gij. Hij gabariye. And uh, sometimes I say, say it to someone, like to say you deserve it, like if as a joke, you know, like you say, I don't know, maybe they're making fun of you and they fell or something. You say, hey, hmm? and sometimes they do this kid like, hey, you deserve it. Hey, okay. Now, uh, <laughs> the next one. So this one is like, you know, slang street one, like very like, you know, even we say, wuzze, wuzze, and like, I think it translates as ghetto. I'm not sure if it's the right word to use. Was uh, uh, it? If, uh, for example, uh, if uh, I want to make someone get scared, not scared, but like, you know, suddenly, like, you know, when they get scared. Um, oh, by the way, if I suddenly get scared, I go like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> we do the, <laughs> like, the <laughs> number seven sound, like the ha, the letter ha. <laughs> sound okay <clears throat> when i'm suddenly scared like na esne you scared me like that because you're inhaling suddenly and it goes like ha in arabic hi basso so the suddenly i got scared but if somebody wants to scare me as a joke you know like it's really wuzzy this one i can go like that like you know uh, i remember when we were kids okay we would go like i would do this and i go like you're scaring the person and you don't go do a case okay, not like that you <laughs> like that okay so you can do okay like as if you're scaring them or sometimes it, you can go to the you know kids do it to each other and you go like you you were fixing your hair you didn't scare them you know you were gonna like maybe hit them or something i don't know and then sometimes if somebody's angry at you and the uh, uh, you just want to like maybe piss them off or maybe even break the ice or piss them off you can go like if they're screaming or shouting and you want to let them know that they're screaming and shouting you're like ow <laughs> why do I say ow because in Arabic dogs don't bark like woof woof that's not the woof woof sound okay we don't go woof woof we say ow in Arabic we even have the verb bi'awwe a, a dog barks, bi'awwe. So if somebody's shouting a lot, like it's like you're saying to them that you're barking, you say like, ow, <laughs> okay? So they might real, like they might even get angrier or they might, um, they might feel like, oh, I, maybe I'm shouting for no reason. Like <laughs> sometimes I say it to my sister, if she's going like really angry, I go like, ow, okay? Um, is there any anything else? My Lebanese friends who are here, let me know if there are any sounds we we make when we are speaking. Okay, I'm just gonna review. I I'm gonna review whatever I said very quickly, just to recap. Anyone, if you remember something, just let me know. So, uh, if you say like ye, it's like you're saying oh no. But if you say it short, if you just say like ye, like what the hell? Like what's this behavior? Or you're sur you're showing that you're surprised. Like what are you saying this? Uh, why are you saying? Why are you saying this? Or what are you saying? Uh, sometimes like ah, uh, if I say like ya, yeah, like I'm surprised. But also I'm also maybe sometimes saying to the person, oh, you're not well in the head or something. <laughs> My friend just typed one. It's like ew, ew is like really also like wuzzy uh, one. Um, it's like you're, you're, I don't know, when do we say it, Basso? It's like when you're saying hi or something. Like, ew, what's up? Something like that. Yeah, what's up? Like, ew, okay, ew. <laughs> and then, like, when you're annoyed, you just go like, that's what you say. If you're disgusted, you go like, or tfu, and you say, tfu alayk, or tfu alayki. And it can be like to the person, you're disgusted of the person, but also you're just saying it about something else that is really like physically disgusting. Or you can say, yeah, bleh. Oh, we also say, bleh, as if like you're doing the, like the vomiting sound, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> okay. So that's, bleh. it's disgusting. Um, like, yeah, the, if you're annoyed and the, 
uh, if you're scaring a child like peekaboo, you can say ba ah. Ah, by the way, we can also say ba usi, ba usi, ba ah or ba usi, or you can just say ba. Okay, so this one I remembered it because my uh, is he my little nephew like child said ba. -ah. I think they, they taught him in the nursery or something. And then you can say ba ba. You know, uh, actually, um, yeah, there's the universal. My friend is helping me here. The universal shh, like shut up shh. Okay, and um, I wanted to say something. Uh, if you it, like, I remember when we were kids, they would scare us. You know, like there's some abukis. I don't know why they would call him abukis, the father of a bag who's gonna like you know the monster who's gonna come to us if we are naughty. Uh, sometimes we call him ba ba. You know, the scary guy uh, of the kids. You know, when you're scaring kids, which is not nice. I wouldn't do it. But you know, they say ba ba. Okay, so sometimes if you say to someone, I'm not that scary, you say, Like I'm not a monster, kind of the scary person who makes that sound. And then you, and when you have pain, you go like, oh, Like I have pain. But if you suddenly have pain, you don't say, oh, you say, I. Like if somebody hurts you, like by mistake, you say, I was jatne. You hurt me or was jatine. I. That's different than, oh. Okay, and then um, you there's the whistle like, you know, when you see like a very, very uh, sexy person, you can go like, like really like, <laughs> um, like, uh, you know, you have to whistle because it's, it's like, oh my God, yeah. Uh, one second, my friend is saying something, Abu Kis, but in reality he's a poor homeless man. Is it? Oh, I didn't know. Like, does it come from bear, that uh, that uh, expression? Like, for us, it was the scary one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you see, like, maybe they they scare kids and say, they say abukis. Like, you know, the owner of a bag or literally the father of a bag is going to come take you. So my friend is saying because it's a homeless. I didn't know. And then, like, you know, when you say, oh, you know, when you're remembering the past or even when we're doing the Zajal, the Lebanese kind of like uh, poems, like, you know, I don't, it's not poems when people reply to each other with verses and lines and <clears throat> so that's off, 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 we go like that. And also in songs when, you know, they're expressing how, you know, heartbroken they are or they're in love or something, they go a lot, they use a lot of the off as well. And then if I suddenly get scared, I go like... <gasps> You know, I got scared, you know, with the more like a <laughs> sound like <gasps> like that. I got suddenly scared. And if I want to pamper a baby, I can go like, yeah, 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 yeah. I do this to him. And uh, oh, I didn't do like, <sighs> I think this is universal, right? When you go <sighs> like tick, 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 TSK, TSK, <sighs> like, you know, you're just doing that with your head. You're not impressed with what the person is doing or saying, you know. And if some, if it's cold, I say ah, bad it, okay. And sometimes even when it's hot, I can say ah. If I open the water and suddenly it's hot, I can say ah, like that. Or if if it's cold, I can say ah. And the dog in Arabic doesn't go woof woof. He goes ow ow. <laughs> That's why if somebody's angry, I sometimes do ow to them. And then hey, if you're relieved, hey, hey, like brother, hey. But you're saying, hey, I'm relieved, or hey, hey, it's a different tone, intonation, hey, like I'm happy for you, that's good news, hey. And then, as I said, ba'a, you're just scaring a child a little bit, like at the peekaboo, ba'a, or ba'usi, we can say ba'usi, or just ba. And then, if you're scaring someone in a different way, you know, like you, you're being like very wuzze, and you want to just, you know, um, you're annoying them on purpose or you're messing about with them or you're just you know you just go you do this with the hand or <laughs> you're scaring them like it's really street slang and yeah we call it wuzze a bit okay and we said about the nya nya disgusting or nya yeah we talked about that yeah that's it I, th I think that these are the ones I wanted to talk about today, the sounds. Let me just very quickly skim through your comments uh, to see if anyone had a question. Uh, <laughs> hi, Sola. Hi, Elias. 
Um, I think, yeah, yeah, two is the when you're disgusted. <laughs> yeah, somebody's saying it's too commonly used when we're talking about politics and somebody says two, you know, yeah, maybe. Okay. Uh, and then yay, like yay, if you're happy, but also you're saying yay, like, like how amazing or how nice, like, you know, when Nancy Ajram sang in her song, like yay, how magical his eyes are. Okay. Um, yeah, and the, it's like, ooh, like really nice or something like that. Uh, oh, in Argentina, they use the man of the bag, the bag man as well. Uh, um, yeah, we have the sound for, if you want to say no, you can say once. But if you say with your head left and right, it's different, okay? If you say yes, it's no. But if you say like, oh my God, you know, that's different. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this kind of a language lesson. As I said, it's maybe not language in terms of words, sentences, or stuff we say with words we speak, but these are sounds we we produce all the time to express, which makes it part of the language. And it's important to know them. And even if you choose to use some or not to use some, if somebody does it, you understand what they mean with their sounds, okay? I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to put this lesson in my um, IGTV. So if you joined late, you always have the chance to watch it again. And uh, yeah, before I go, I want to let you know that um, my next 30-day Lebanese Arabic challenge course will be in January. The dates are still not uh, confirmed. I'm going to confirm it by next week. Uh, but also, it's December and it's the month where we buy gifts and, you know, out maybe to ourselves or to family members. So if this is something you're interested in, I have my Lebanese Arabic 30-day challenge courses. They're uh, all the way from absolute be beginners to advanced. These are courses great for you. Um, or for anyone who wants to learn Lebanese Arabic and they need a challenge but they need structure but at the same time they need flexibility and they want to do it self-paced so these are courses that have all the information that I use in my classes in my 30-day challenge classes even much more because they are very very intensive and they come with tons, tons, tons of material audio material and PDF files and you would have lifetime access to them so I think they they are a really, really good investment. Yalla. Merci, Paso. Yalla. Bye. I'm going to leave you and I might see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you. Shufkun.